Welcome back, everybody, to 70s of Dime, an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play seven days on a same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we plan a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. Um, we actually, though, as you can see, are in the one and only relatively small uh, desert biome on the entire map. Everything else is snow. Um, the only reason this desert biome exists is so that we have a supply of oil shale. But we're not going to live here. We're not going to spend time here other than to come here and get oil shale. Uh, that's what its purpose is. And so I just spent some time off camera just mapping the perimeter of uh, this desert biome. And so I got to thinking about what we're actually going to do with uh, in regards to resources here. So, you know, again, the purpose of this entire series is to play in the snow biome first of all and secondly the purpose of the snow biome is only really to get us oil shells so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a rule for myself that i can't harvest resources from the desert except for oil shale and any minerals that happen to be in the same area that i'm mining the oil shale so for in other words let's say i'm underground and i'm mining oil shale and i hit a pocket of iron well I'm going to mine that iron too because it's in my way if nothing else. But I'm not going to come into the desert, find an iron deposit, and just mine that by itself. Uh, in addition, I'm not going to mine. Um, I'm not going to mine, or not mine. I'm not going to gather yucca or aloe here either because I think, you know, considering this is a snow biome playthrough, I think that's definitely, you know, uh, an, an off limits thing to do considering, you know, what our purpose is. So um, I. I don't think there's any problem with me looting stuff here, particularly if the trader gives us a quest and sends us in, you know, to the desert, um, because there's nothing I can loot in the desert that I couldn't loot anywhere else. So that doesn't really give me an advantage. And also, you know, if you take a look at my, in the upper left-hand corner of my screen at the thermometer, it's 132 degrees Fahrenheit out here. It's really hot. And I do have the yellow um, heat indicator. Um, I ended up having to put on my uh, the uh, the me the cooling mesh mod uh, and change a few clothes in order just to you know keep from burning up. So, you know, it's it's not that the the desert biome is an easier place to come. It's really just the opposite of the snow biome in terms of the temperature. Uh, it gets really hot here, of course. So, uh, yeah. So just to kind of recap again, basically the rule is that I am not allowed to harvest any resources from the desert except for. Um, oil shale and any minerals that are in the same mine as the oil shale that I'm mining, okay? We can't harvest any other resources, specifically yucca and aloe. Now, you know, we're going to find yucca and aloe seeds in the snow biome. We're going to come across them in, like, gardens, and that's th that's good. I mean, we can we can go ahead and, and loot that stuff. Um, I just don't feel like it's fair for me to come to the desert biome and gather, gather that stuff in bulk since this is supposed to be a snow biome series. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, um, we have a city over here, and I'm very tempted to live in this city because it's very close to the snow biome, and it's kind of cool too because it's it's on the water too. So, you, you know, it's kind of like a, a city by the bay, so to speak. A little San Francisco action there, right? And so um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head over there and we're going to take a look and see what our prospects are for a place to live. The thing that's important, of course, is we want to we need to be near a trader. Um, and I don't know. The only trader I know of is the one, you know, that we we first started with. But our original, you know, base and city is way off to the south. And that's just a little further away from the desert biome that I want to be. You know, it really wouldn't matter if I had a motorcycle or even a mini bike, uh, but I don't. And I don't know how long it's going to be before, you know, we find those. So I think it makes sense for us to maybe make our home base in this in or, and you know, near this city. And this is also very close to the center of the map. This little red dot is more or less the center of the map right here. So we would be in a very good central location. So that being said... Uh, I have a little um, excerpt, a little clip that I want to show you that I just kind of captured um, randomly because I, I, I didn't film myself, you know, going around uh, the desert, uh, but something happened to me and I want to show you that clip really quick. All right, guys, um, I'm bringing you back. <laughs> and by the way, welcome back to Seven Days of Die, but I wanted to show you before they all disappeared. 
Uh, looks like they're already starting to disappear. I just got rushed by a running horde, and uh, <laughs> my health is down to 58. I would say, I don't know how many zombies there were. It was probably 10, 10 to 12 that rushed us, and we survived it. We survived it. Uh, it's too bad that <clears throat> corpses disappeared so fast. I mean, I didn't have the recorder running, obviously. I would have showed it, um, but I, I started the recorder right after I killed them, but most of them disappeared. But, oh, my goodness, I thought I was a goner because, I mean, I'm right out here in the middle of nowhere, right? Um, I didn't have time. I didn't even have my second frame on my toolbar to get it down, and I wouldn't have had time any, anyways because they were, like, right on me. But we did manage to kill them, and we even got a level out of it. <laughs> so, whew, that was close. Anyway, um, I wasn't planning on bringing back yet but i did i did want to show that to you so yeah that was nuts <laughs> i thought i thought i was a goner but i managed to kind of keep my cool and keep my uh, ak trained on their heads and uh we actually survived that so yeah it was crazy though it was absolutely crazy okay well anyways guys let's go ahead and move out we're going to trend uh transition back into the snow so we're going to go from 130 some odd degrees to freaking you know 15 degrees below zero freeze your nuts off weather Oh, actually, no, it's only 59 out right now. No, it's 55, 50. Yeah, well, it keeps fluctuating. I don't know. Anyway, it's cold here. <laughs> so let's get our cold setup back on. So this, uh, even we're still wearing the damn grass shirt because we haven't found anything better in terms of cold resist. I don't, wait, wait a minute. I don't think, has this got cold resist? Oh, it does. Okay, so this has the same cold resist as the grass shirt. So you know what? We're done with that sucker. So we're just going to be wearing the tank top even in the snowbound, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. All right, uh, so we got that. Now, um, what else? I had on my gloves, right. I had put the cooling mesh mod on the gloves, but we don't need it here. So we're going to put the plate back on. And we'll hang on to this, of course. What I think I'm going to do once I figure out where I'm going to live is I'm probably going to, you know, make myself like a little... Just a little tiny outpost at the edge of the desert where we'll keep desert gear. So when we come to the desert, you know, we just stop off there and we change we change into the desert garb and that sort of thing. But I don't know exactly where we're going to live yet. So I don't want to set that up until, you know, we know what where that place is going to be. Uh, I'm currently not wearing my leather duster because I want I'm wearing the, the coat that gives us the speed buff. And, you know, as long as we don't get super, super duper cold, that as in, you know, red cold is what I'm calling it, we should be fine. Plus, we still have three yucca juices, which give us 30 cold resist. That stuff is just amazing. And we have coffee on top of that. Okay. So let's see. what We're, we're thirsty right now. So let's go ahead. Let's throw back a coffee. Let's throw back a coffee. Uh, I found some... I found some canned food in a car, so I ate that. I'm, I'm trying not to eat this chili. I'd really like to hang on to this chili so that we can make chili dogs, but, uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to have that luxury. We'll just kind of see how things go. I am a little bit down, but I'm not seriously down, so let's just keep moving, and we'll see, you know, how things go. We're, we're, we're a little bit low on 762s because I had to blow so much of it killing that uh, running horde, and... We're also low on shotgun shells, too, because I was using my shotgun a lot on the trip here. So we've kind of transitioned to the pistol now, uh, because I still have, you know, compared to everything else, I have quite a bit of 9mm am ammo. So we're really using the pistol, you know, for for onesie-twosie kills. Okay, let's go ahead and get moving. I, there was, wasn't there a Larry just walking around over here? Did he go in the water? Well, if he pops up, we'll we'll nail him. I've been pretty much, like I said, ever since that running horde came through and I had to expend so much 7.62, I've pretty much just been using the pistol since that time. Uh, we got quite a few zombie kills in the desert. Normal zombie kills, not Larry kills. Uh, because, you know, they were so much easier to kill. Killed a couple of rattlesnakes and a coyote, too. There's some clay, or not clay, coal right there. And some more coal. So yeah, what, we, what we're what we looking for really is we're looking for the, the trader that's in this area. Assuming there even is one in this area, that's the other thing. I believe Terry only put four traders on this map in total. And I have no idea where those traders are, the, the other three traders. I'm hoping there's one that's going to be close here to this central city. If there isn't, then we might have to... Yowzers. We might have to rethink our plan again. Okay, let's uh, 
stay. I don't mind, again, I don't mind if we get the attention of one Larry, but I don't want to get the attention of a Larry and a, and a Cougar at the same time. That would not go well for us. We'll kind of, let's just kind of stay along the shore as we work our way towards the city here. And cross your fingers that we find a traitor. You know what would be cool? I was thinking about this. It would be cool if we could find a... A log cabin like the lodge um, and and take that over and live in there you know because it kind of fits with the snow biome theme and everything that'd be kind of neat but there's something else that I've always always wanted to do and I've never actually done it and that something is I've always wanted to live uh, I'm just kind of watching here I've always wanted to live in the penthouse in Daishong Tower. <laughs> I've always wanted to live there. Um and and even and even fix the fix it fix it up, you know, repair it and restore it and everything. Just I don't know, I just think that'd be kind of fun. It would be a pain in the ass though because I mean, you know, getting up up and down, well, down wouldn't be a problem. We would just build a big old bed of hay bales and jump down every time. Uh, well, would that work? You still can take damage if you jump too far, even on hay bales. We'd have to figure that out, but anyway, going up would be a pain in the ass, though, because, you know, we'd have to climb up there all the time. All right, these guys are irritating me. Take a headshot, Larry. Take another one. Uh, actually, that was more like a chest shot. Okay, come here. Give me that head. Okay. He's such a freaking bullet sponge, man. All right, well, let's move out and uh, see. I'm going to take another coffee because we're yellow snowflake cold. And we might even have to just take another one of these, too, because the problem with the yellow snowflake cold is it makes our food go down quickly. And that's not good. We don't want that to happen. Hey, look at Larry just kind of hanging out in the water there. We need to, we need to get him out of there because he's going to come after us anyway. All right, come here, Larry. Okay. Wow, it got foggy out. Can't even see the skyscrapers now. I think this is a really neat location, though. You know, I have the city right on the water there. And having such a, a big body of water is kind of cool, too, because we haven't really seen that in Seven Days to Die and a couple of alphas. Though, honestly, it was kind of a pain in the ass in Alpha 16 to have such large bodies of water. Um, you know, getting around and stuff, sometimes it could be a pain, but it was neat, though. I really I really did miss the, you know, even just reasonable-sized bodies of water in, in 17, because we just didn't have it. I don't know why they did that. It was kind of weird, but of course there were there were a lot of random gin I issues with 17 anyway. I did a long, long series uh, on 17, over 100 episodes, as a matter of fact, and um, the world would generate like tons and tons of um, waterworks and junkyards and uh, power power stations like that one. And uh, military bases. They were just all over the place, and you wouldn't hardly see anything else, you know, in comparison. So it was it was definitely broken. And, of course, you know, they fixed that in Alpha 18, so we don't see that now like we did before. But it was it was bad, man. It was bad. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. We got... Two missile silos? Really? We have two missile silos back to back. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? How about that? That's a place that I've never actually tried to do a base in before. Because here again, I think it would be kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out of because it goes way underground. It's a great place to loot, though. Um, and pretty dangerous, too. Lots of soldier zombies in that place. Got another prison. Prison. 
So really, like I said, you know, the, the thing that we've got to do is we've got to figure out where the traitor is. Especially before we, um, you know, before we, we get any kind of a, a vehicle, I don't, I don't want to be a long ways away from a trader and have to go on foot, you know, to turn press in and sell stuff and all that. All right, so we're down to one stack of set uh, of Niners. Um, all right, well, let's see. The... I'm pretty sure Terry did not put the traders in the town. Well, actually, I guess I'm not sure about that. I, I vaguely remember talking to him about that, but I can't remember what, what we decided to do about that. So, let's just kind of look around the the waterfront here first and see uh you know what we might be able to to determine i, I want to be careful because there's usually sleepers in that place <laughs> look at that shot beautiful Got some people's attention in the prison there, but screw those guys. Well, unless they jump off the tower onto our head. Alright, let's just move away from there. You are cold. Alright, you know what? Let's just take one of these. There's a deer, but, you know, we're, <clears throat> again, we're not looting right now. Not at all. Because we need, we just don't have the space. So this is the waterfront. This is the boat, the boat ramp. <laughs> Let's go take a look and see what's over here. I'm not seeing anything that looks like the trader, but let's just check it out. That is kind of a a log cabin looking place, but it's not really what I had in mind. You know what would be cool is to have a lodge, you know, a, a lodge type of cabin. There are one or two POIs in this game that are like that. Um, but up, you know, up on a mountain. In the snow. That would be neat. But not if it's like a hundred million miles away from everything else. <laughs> It'd have to be a mountain that was really close to the city. Okay, let's look at our map here. Alright, so we're out on this little little peninsula here. Um, obviously there's nothing more, so let's head back this way. Oh, shit. Larry! You son of a... You're such an asshole. Oh, there's another Larry. Boy, at this rate, I'm going to run out of nines. It takes so many shots to kill his ass. Let's go around this way. It looks like we have a chamois factory or a shotgun messiah. No, that's a chamois factory. Okay. Got 
Okay, it's just all over the place, man. All over the place. Let's take a look at our map here. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to go around. Uh, essentially, I want to map out the perimeter of this city. Well, I don't know actually if I want to do that because <laughs> the cities are pretty damn big in this. You know, when they're megas like this one. But what I'm looking for, of course, is is a trader on the outskirts. So we have to kind of stay on the outskirts if that's what we're going to find. It's so funny that it makes the snow sound even when you're not on snow. Let's go over this way. Larry over there. I suppose I could put stones back on my toolbar and just try and distract him. It's not that we can't kill him, it's that if we keep killing him, we're going to run out of ammo. And then we will have a problem. So we really should save our ammo for emergencies. All right, well, in that case, let's put the just put the stones there, I guess. That's one thing we have plenty of is stones. Okay, got him out of there. If we, if we do the Daishong thing, it's going to be that one there, because it looks right out over the water. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know if we're going to do that, though. That would be so much work. I'll, I'll think about that. No, I'm not promising that for sure, guys. I'm just toying with some ideas, so don't get, don't get your hopes up. But we'll see. We'll see. It is froggy out. Go away, Larry. Okay, let's look at our map again. We should probably kind of work back around this way. Because again, we have to stay on the outskirts. There's another one of those cool theaters. We could live in there. There's no zombies in there. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually, wouldn't it? Live in the in the theater. It's kind of tempting, actually. Let's keep our options open. Let's keep our options open. All right. So what do we got going on here? We got a pig. I wish it wasn't so damn foggy out. I can't see. Uh, there's a barn out this way. That's interesting. It's just like a little spit or something, I guess. You know, there, it is possible that that road could lead to a trader. Certainly possible. I don't think so, though, because we probably would see it. But let's just follow it and see where it goes. Maybe it will. It goes somewhere. Ah, uh, nah. It looks like it just goes to, a, like, like w w you know, the mine POI or something, I think. Because I don't see any buildings off in the distance there. Uh, do I? Oh, no. Oh, that's the gallows. Yeah, that's the gallows POI. Well, you know, the road looks like it continues on. Let's just keep following it. I wish it wasn't foggy out, man. Then we could see... We could see what the hell's going on, but we can't. So we're just going to have to go that way.
That'd be kind of cool if the trader was right out here. We'd have to build a bridge to the mainland. <laughs> Okay, let's take this off and put this on so we can have a little bit of light. I think we lose like three cold protection, but it's actually 43 degrees out right at the moment anyway. So where in the hell is this road taking us? Is it really like... Wow, wouldn't that be something if that road actually bridged all the way across? Now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Because this is our, our area here. It's really not that far away. You know, especially once we get a vehicle. Come on, Larry. Bugger off, dude. Looks like it gets deep quickly. Huh. All right, so now it's wrapping around to the west. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to bridge all the way across to the other city at this point. What's our map look like? Nope, it's wrapping around here. It is kind of a neat little feature though, you know? <laughs> it's different. Different. Okay, well... Let's get back over this way then and keep hunting for our buddy, the trader. And actually, I guess we're out of time too, guys. So I'm going to just keep doing this, you know. Um, I'm just going to keep walking around and just trying to see if I can find that trader. And I think what's going to happen is if we don't find a trader around the central city... We might end up just going back um, home. There's a fair chance that there's probably a road that goes straight up to the desert biome. And again, you know, once we get some kind of a vehicle, it's not going to be that big of a deal to go up there. Because I just don't want to spend a million years trying to find a trader on foot. Especially, you know, at this point, because we're still not, you know, really well equipped we, we need to conserve our ammo for emergencies and not just go blowing up the countryside, which I kind of was feeling <laughs> a little bit in the desert bomb, just, I don't know, because cause we could, right? That really got, gets steep there. Look at that, that water. All right, guys, well, like I said, I'm going to let you go. I'm just going to keep walking around. At some point, I might have to make, like, a little camp and, and cook up some meat um, or just say screw it and eat this. I mean, we'll get more chili. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> we'll get more chili. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm not sure where I'll, I will be or what will happen in that episode, but we'll figure it out, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little bit slower episode than usual, but, you know, sometimes you have to have those types of episodes. There are things you just have to get done, and I didn't want to do all of it off camera. So, anyway, there you go. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.